Hey guys, this is Jeffrey. Yeah, I just received this little gift from a friend. It's a OBD2 card diagnosis scanner. It's a very beautiful box with uh, this is called the NX501 by the next pick. So uh, it's uh, coming with this box and also here you can see some product features and functions. So I'm just going to do a little check for this scan too. So first I open this uh, box. It's coming with a needle bag. Yeah, it's, it's very well made and uh, professional. So I open this, ba this bag side here. First we have a diagnostic, diagnostic cable and a USB cable. And also there will be a, this is the main unit. It's a next pick NX501. This, this is the should be the cable to connect this with. And we'll have a USB cable. Also we have a user menu in this uh, in this in this needle bag. So inside the user menu we will have uh, general information and about this tool how to use the scan tool and also the operations so it's also with some pictures inside it should be very easy to understand so i have checked this tool just showing how this is working so uh first we need to connect this one this is the obd2 system pin diagnostic port it's very thick and uh, well made it so uh, first one we need to connect this with the scanner and tighten the screw and then you can just connect this one to your card system pin port I'm checking this on my Mercedes so uh, it's under the dashboard So after you connect this one, you hear a beep and the device will be turned on. So uh, I'm going to check this function one by one. So the screen should be uh, looking very nice. Or maybe in the video it's not showing very properly. And we have six functions for the scan tool. The first is the diagnostic. It will go into the check, check engine function. And second one is to review the review the trouble codes. So the DTC is called a trouble code. So it will help you and you don't need to go to online to check what this function means. It will give you a direct uh, direct meaning. And inside here we will have a review function. This function will allow you to review all the data that storage into this scan tool which means this scan tool has a memory chip inside allows you to record the data, record even the data stream, the live data stream and record the freeze frame so you can use this tool to record everything of your scanned vehicle and then uh, when you're at home you can just use this cable to connect with the computer and then uh, inside here you can print the data you can upload all this data to the to the computer to f for more analysis and also you can review just inside the scanner here and what's what's more in the tool setup we will have a language menu so uh, this scanner support total uh, it was six uh, eight different languages including the Portuguese uh, French uh, German Russian Portuguese Spanish yeah and this is for you to change the units I can just change one of this unit so uh, I'm going to use this on my Mercedes uh, first I need to turn on the ignition and make sure the engine is fully running so uh, now this scanner should be I'll just check this little scanner's function Go to diagnostic. So after you enter the system, there's a function to tell you the battery status. 
So with this function, you can monitor your car battery status anytime. And it's not only a scanner, but also a, but also it's a battery tester. So let's check in the Dynox menu. It has it has ten function of OBD diagnostic. So it's a full OBD function diagnostic scanner. So uh, let's check the read codes. So you can you will be able to check total three different types of the trouble codes, like the permanent codes is meaning there's a physical damage of your vehicle. So my car ser seriously has no problem, so there's no need for me to check. And also inside here is the erase code. If your car has some problems, so you can follow the follow the tips and erase it one by one. Iron Redness we allows you to easily check your uh, your emission status uh, if you can pass the spool check function, the smoke check or not. And the screen ticks means everything is okay and uh, not available. Like my oxygen sensor is performing very well. So this function can also be fast entered by go to once your once your once this device is turned on. Just just click this one. Just press this button. It's a hotkey for you to enter the the I'm Redness function, which is the smoke check function. It's the same result. So uh, next function is the data stream. This one will helps you to analyze the live data. The, the, the live the sensor data in real time so uh, you can view all items it's it's very fast one and update in real time so in my in my one of the ECU there are total eight pages like uh, 14 40 different sensor readings I can check and you can also view the graphical items this is very important function so uh, with this function like you can compare some uh, different little like, uh, like I choose my RPM you can you will understand the, the relevant between the RPM and the and the other sensors like the temperature of the, the intake air temperature so if you So you can see inside here, this is the four graph and update in one scale, which will help you to understand what does this function mean, whether your uh, sensor is acting normally. And also you can save, you can record this data in the, into this compute, into this uh, scanner, and you can review it even at home. And the freeze frame will allow you, if your car have a freeze frame, like this, uh, if your car has a problem, it will record, it will take a snapshot of your vehicle and then record it into the computer of the car and you can use our scanner to read it out. So uh, basically my car has no freeze frame because there's no problem on my car. You can see it out from this green tick. And oxygen sensor test will, will let you know if your car has a problem in the oxygen sensor which is related to the emission or the or the check engine light is on so uh, it's kind of useful and onboard monitoring so for this function so if you see the error probably because uh, your, your diagnostic cable is loosened and you just need to fasten your diagnostic cable and then go on and go back to the go back to this function and you will see all these details like uh, even you can see the sensor heater and what's the component ID and what's the status and what's the limit so uh, another function is to be EVAP system check it allows you to check the results of the EVAP systems to know whether you have a fuel tank integrity problems 
but not uh, not every car support these functions so uh, it depends on the car config configuration and the car makes the last one is the vehicle information so you can use this one to check your uh, VIN code if your car is very old you don't know what your VIN code is it's, the, it's like a personal ID for everyone so it's for every car in the world it has a, uh, a certain VIN code so this tool will be able to help you understand more of your vehicle and check engine and what's the f meaning of your check engine if you still have any problems and interesting in your tool please send me a message